I'd like some makeup. Well, you don't get any. All right. Are we ready to begin? Hello and welcome to my channel, The Quiet One, where we talk about entertainment and movies, especially horror movies. And today I'm going to tell you why you need to watch Shadow of the Vampire. Shadow of the Vampire is a 2000 horror film starring John Malkovich and William Dafoe. It is a fictionalized account of the making of the classic vampire film Nosferatu, directed by F.W. Murnau. It was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Makeup. For his performance, Defoe was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. In 1921, German director F.W. Murnau, and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right, is shooting Nosferatu, an unauthorized version of Bram Stoker's novel Dracula. Murnau keeps his team in the dark about their schedule and the actor playing the vampire Count Olaf. It is left to the film's other main actor to explain that the lead is an obscure German theater performer named Max Schreck. Who is a character actor. To involve himself fully in his role, Shrek will only appear amongst the cast and crew in makeup and will only be filmed at night, and he will never break character. The film was produced by Nicolas Cage's Saturn Films. Cage originally intended to play Shrek, but later cast Defoe when he expressed interest in the role. Cage stated he always wanted Malkovich to play him right now. Can you imagine Nicolas Cage as a vampire? Be kind of interesting. Producer Cage had previously acted with Malkovich and Defoe in Con Air from 1997 and Wild at Heart, 1990. To create the aesthetic of old film, the cinematographer shot much of the film with Kodak Vision 800T film stock, a high-speed specialty stock with very coarse grain in super 35mm format, which further enhanced the effect when cropped and enlarged to anamorphic. One of my favorite quotes from this, and I'm going to use this next time someone steps in front of something I want to take a picture of, when F.W. Marnau uh, is filming something, this woman comes in and, and just disrupts the whole thing. So he yells, a native has wandered into my frame. I'm going to say that every time someone gets in the way of my shot, I'm going to say it. And can we just take a moment to appreciate Willem Dafoe's face? Look at it. I love his face. Awesome for this. Now, it's not a necessity to watch the original Nosferatu from 1922, but if you have seen that, I think you're going to enjoy this movie more. You can always watch the original after this one. It doesn't matter. You will understand the movie without ever seeing Nosferatu. I mean, that's for sure. But I think those who have seen the movie will get more of a kick out of this. Um, a lot of the shots are, are recreated. But I do recommend you watch Nosferatu because it is honestly, to me, the, the best vampire film that I have ever seen. Because he is not dashing and you know handsome like Bela Lugosi in Dracula. Now don't get me wrong now, I do love Bela Lugosi in the 1931's version of Dracula. Nosferatu was really interesting because in real life you really couldn't get the rights to the story from uh, the estate of Bram Stoker. So Mornow was like, you know what, I'm just going to change up a few things. He changed the name from Dracula to Nosferatu and the name of Dracula to Count Orlok. When there's a will, there's a way, right? He wanted that story, he was going to get it. German ingenuity. And it's a really awesome cast featuring Eddie Izzard and Carrie Elwes from The Princess Bride. He's done other things, but we all know him from The Princess Bride. So I really appreciate you watching my video. I hope you enjoy the movie if you happen to see it. If you have seen it, please let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. And if you're feeling, you know, generous, please like and subscribe to my channel if you like my content. I like to offer movie suggestions, especially uh, horror movie suggestions because I love horror. I love a lot of stuff, but horror is my thing. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye. Discreet girl. I'll eat her later.